Season three. Here we go. Oh, it's like the season one opening. Nice. Long ago, Zadia. That's Erebos, right? Now I know his voice. His beautiful voice. And that's Soul Dragon. And this is Dark Magic Guy. Now his white hair makes a little more sense. You just expect humans to go back to the way things were before we had magic. When humans starved and struggled back to a time when we were lesser beings. You are lesser beings. Yeah, that'll be effective. Why don't you just insult them? You want to bring someone over to your side? Start off the conversation by insulting them. Works every time. After hearing that, this guy's got no choice but to give up dark magic. Being a lesser being and all. Lay down your star and walk away. Lay it down? But it was a gift. That would be rude. A gift. Of course, you didn't think that a lesser being like myself would be able to craft such a powerful mm. relic. Interesting. Who gave it to him? <gasps> One of the great ones. Was it Erebos? You can't be saying an entire city, hundreds of thousands of innocent people, children, give up dark magic. Talk about a cycle of violence. I feel like Soul's not exactly playing this very well. Killing innocents. Whoa. Oh, did he blind him? Interesting. Wow, what an opening. Book 3, Sun, Chapter 1, Soul Regum, Regum, Regum. That creates a whole lot more depth for dark magic, right? It's like, one, humans didn't discover it for themselves, it seems. Two, it seems like its discovery was in some way inevitable, as, like, humanity rises out of nature. It seems like it was a difficult moral choice from the beginning, since people are starving. So it's hard to fault this guy or humanity for dabbling in it, if, if that was their alternative. And then... The dragons are not looking so good here. Their resistance to it seems partly based on actual concern. Like, they know the, the cost of dark magic, and they're worried about its implications in the future. But also, they don't like humanity, and they're worried about another rising force in the world. So humans are not solely to blame here. Yeah, so that's probably gonna take us, yeah, yeah, to the present with Callum and Rayla. His name is Sol Ragum. Sol Ragum. Sun King. We'll have to sneak past him. Callum, it's time for you to get your first lesson in the ways of stealth. Nice! I, I mean, nice. He's a fast learner. That leaves only two senses we need to fool. Hearing and smell. Wait, why are those the only two senses we need to worry about? Well, if it gets to his sense of touch, we're in big trouble. And sense of taste? Bigger trouble. Kind of sounds like Moon Arcanum stuff. If you say so, mage. Look how happy Callum is being called a mage. I strongly recommend we gather the battalion and abandon the fortress. We simply don't have the numbers to hold this fortress. Amaya's not the running type. I feel like he's gonna smell you. He's just kind of walking past them. Yeah, just do that, Callum. No problem. I mean, he wouldn't kill Zim. Oh, he was freed! That's right! Oh yeah, I saw that in the end credits. Now he's got this nice beard. No reinforcements are coming. Lord Viren has been arrested. For treason. Big surprise. Our only choice is to destroy it. Mmm. Uh, looks like it's down to my least favorite course of action. Magic? Reason. Oh. Mighty Sol Regum, I am Rayla of the Moonshadow Elves. Why are you here? Can you tell him about the dragon? On the business of Zubeya, the Dragon Queen, we humbly ask your permission to cross back into Zadia. What kind of business? This guy's nosy. The new 
Dragonborn Dragon Prince Azimondius. So she can't tell him, or she did tell him. The egg of the Dragon King was destroyed. Smell him. The Dragon Prince lives, and he's very cute, isn't he? There's a good boy. I feel like Solrigum is not all there. He's not so stable. Do you really trust him with this? This is kind of a big move. I will allow you and the Dragonling to pass back into Zadia, but not the filthy human who cowers nearby. You go on without me. No, Callum, we're so close. Rayla, getting Zim to Zadia is all that matters. No, 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 but this is the whole point, right? The humans need to be there in person as a sign of reconciliation. And more importantly, I'm waiting for Elf Callum. I want to see him give it back to Rayla. Tired of being made fun of. It's the Elf's turn. No, there are two choices. You all die. Or just the wretched, evil human dies. Yeah. Some humans are evil. Uh, Rayla? But not this one. I wish she had said, he's a good human. That would have been great. See, Rayla has more tact than Callum does. He sacrificed everything so Azimondius could be born. He's noble and true. When we met, he could have had me captured or killed. But he didn't. He saw past human hatred and did what he knew was right. Human hatred. He's my friend. My best friend. Wow. Use the B word. I smell death. What? No, Calm is different. I smell the reek of dark magic on him. It was just the one time. Come on. Yeah, I feel like this guy would kill the Dragon Prince out of bitterness. He can't use his fire breath yet. He can only do it every few minutes. He needs time to recharge. I love how he has a loading bar. We can't hide from his senses, but maybe we can trick them. Create a false appearance. After all, we can only truly know the appearance itself. Hey. Oh, you're sounding like Ludane. Yeah, and I'm concerned. That wasn't a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your scarf. If I wear it, I'll smell like you and I'll draw his fire. This is the worst idea you've ever had. He's gonna burn you to a crisp. Nah, you're forgetting about Rila's super athleticism. I haven't bathed in two weeks. This should do the trick. <laughs> you didn't have to smell it. <laughs> oh. Right? You did that to yourself. Why is he proud? <laughs> Ooh. Yep. I see where this is going. We are ready to detonate the explosives. On your command. Oops, someone cut it. It's never that simple. Someone has to go out there and set them off. Oh no. But Amaya, you, you won't survive. What did she say? She said the rest of us will. Now I'm worried about Amaya. Yeah, one simply walks into Zadia, huh? This battle's been set up for so long. These two. This is the third time they're fighting, right? I guess she doesn't even need to fight. She just needs to blow it up. Wait, I missed how she got her sword. That's awesome, I've been waiting for that. She just took it from her, wow. Awesome. And she saved her horse too. No. Yes. Is she trapped on the elven side now? What's she gonna do? She's gonna help her. Yeah. That one. <laughs> nice. As far as, like, results from that could have gone, that one is very satisfying. Because now we get Amaya and Zadia, which is pretty cool. But I'm really glad she didn't die over, like, a bridge, you know? Not that it's not important, but she's such a cool character, I feel like it's better that she's alive. I want to see the Amaya story continue as much as possible.
Nice. Rayla survived that boulder smash like it was nothing. Relax, I'm only slightly singed. Good thinking with Aspero. All right, go. <laughs> that arch isn't gonna hold him forever. Yeah. Thanks for letting me borrow this. I think it's good luck. Yeah, just wash it. <laughs> Your time will come. You have put things in motion. There's only one way to neutralize Viren, and that's to do it permanently. This is it Ezrin? It is. Oh yeah. He'll be fine. He's gonna do a great job. <laughs> I got faith in him, I believe. All right, so we start out season three with this really packed action episode. One of the most interesting parts for me was just the opening. Suddenly it doesn't look as much like humans are these power hungry creatures just looking to exploit their environment, right? They needed a way out of their terrible state. And the dragons, and I'm guessing other beings as well, were not so hospitable to humans rising in the world. Which doesn't mean that their fear wasn't justified, because dark magic does seem like a threat. Not only just in terms of the magical system they've set up, but like thematically dark magic is dark magic for a reason. It represents shortcuts, it represents giving into what's easy at a cost to your own soul, you know, that kind of thing. And so that did bring a destructive force in the world in some way, and we're seeing that play out. But it wasn't only that. It wasn't only humans doing that. It was also that there were already existing tensions between humans and other creatures. And Sol Regum was not exactly the best diplomat in that situation. Like, oh, you're gonna use dark magic? I'm gonna kill all these innocent people. Because that makes sense, you know? But now we have Calum and Rayla actually in Zadia, although I'm sure they're gonna run into a lot of difficulties still. We have Ezrin on the throne, which I'm super excited about. And we have the, the hints, the first like actual hints I'd say that I've seen of Calum Rayla. Raylum? And we have an unknown fate for Viren. And we didn't see Claudia and Soren. I'm not sure what they're actually going to do. Are they going to Zadia? Are they going back home? We'll just have to wait and see. So I'll see you next time for Season 3, Episode 2.